Hey everyone, David here, and today I'm excited to show you guys this little template that I created for my OSCP lab report, and I hope you guys can find it useful and use it for your own lab report too. So let me just show you what I did. So this is just the cover, and you can add your email here and your student ID. And then the index is already created, so just make sure you update it once you're finished. And then we can just scroll back here to see our first uh, section of this document. So here is just the objectives just to show what is this document about, what is the objectives of this lab report. So as you probably already know, in order to get your free 10 bonus points, you have to do a report on 10 lab machines in which four of those must be from an Active Directory set. And after that, you also have to do all the course exercises. And so let me just show you an example on how this is structured. So let's say you're doing your lab report for uh, your first lab machine. So I created these four subsections for you to do your report on your enumeration process. How did you get your initial, initial access? How did you make your privilege escalation? And then if you did any post exploitation activities, you can also report them as well. And that's pretty much the same for the next nine machines to make a total of 10, as you can see on this page here. And then we have our course exercises section. Now for the first chapter of the course, there's no exercises. So we are just going to skip this one. But for the second chapter, which is getting comfortable with Kali Linux, there is exercises to do. Now, let me just show you how I organize this. Now, my job here is to make um, easy to anyone who's trying to read this document and trying to check if I did everything correctly. So let's see what I did. So for the first thing I do is I just type the question here and then I have this answer. Now, why do I have this here? It's because for many course exercises, there are open questions. They are going to ask you things like, uh, why is this not working? What can you do differently to make this work? And so when you have those kinds of questions, you have to write an open answer. And that's why I have it here. Now for this um, exercise here, this is just an example. I'm not disclosing anything I shouldn't, okay? Uh, you just had to use this command and just provide an evidence. So this doesn't really make any sense to be here. But it's just to show you how I would go if there was like an open question over here. And so then I just write the commands I use and I show the evidence by just copy and pasting a screenshot of my resolution of the exercise. And then I just wrote down every chapter from the course and all the exercises you need to do to get your 10 bonus points. And I think the last chapter is chapter 24. I'm just going to show you there's all here yeah and we just reached the end of our document and that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to share you with you um this little template i did uh this is a lot cleaner than the template that offensive security provides and i really appreciate that there's no crazy reds over here this is just like black and white and all clean and i hope this could be useful for some of you and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one bye